Okay, class. In this video, we'll use a problem to help you better understand viscosity. As we have uh, shown in previous video, we have defined fluid as a material that cannot resist any shearing. So when we apply the shearing force, there's a continuous deformation. And to set up the relation, shear stress, shear, shear stress is used for the external stimulus, which is defined as a shear force divided by contacting area, and strain rate used to describe the continuous deformation, uh, it's du over dy. By experimental observation, we learned that there's a linear relationship between shearing stress and the strain rate. Its coefficient for this linear relation is called viscosity. And viscosity mu is also called dynamic viscosity, absolute viscosity. And you might see another term is called kinematic viscosity, which is defined as mu dynamic viscosity divided by rho, which is density of fluid. To apply the relation to solve viscosity problem, we often need non-slip boundary condition. Non-slip boundary condition, which is, which is an experimental observation, states that fluid tend to stick to the boundaries. Either it's a solid fluid boundary or fluid fluid boundary. For example, if a fluid enters a channel, if both sides of the channel are stationary, then we can immediately know that at the boundary and only at the boundary, the velocities of fluid equal velocity of the solid. In this case, because both channel sides are stationary, so the velocity of the fluid at the boundaries are zeros. Another example, we change the problem a little bit. So still a fluid enters the channel, but if the upper side of the channel moves at speed u, then based on non slip boundary, we know that on top, velocity of the fluid equals velocity of solid channel. In this case, velocity equals u. And at the bottom still, because stationary channel, the fluid at that boundary is still zero. Now, whereas both the sharing stream rate relation and also the boundary condition, now we look at the shaft bearing problem. So there's a shaft pulled through a cylindrical bearing as shown in the figure below, the lubricant that filled the 0.3 millimeter gap or small gap between shaft and bearing to protect uh, bearing and the shaft. And the lubricant is uh, fluid with, cost, with viscosity, is 0.8. And the question is to determine the force required to pull the shaft out at a constant speed, 3 meter per second. So to Pulling force is determined by the friction and due to lubrication and shaft contact. And to calculate friction, we need to know the velocity of the lubricant in between. So in order to do analysis, we zoom in the lubrication between bearing and shaft, set up a coordinate x, y, and we denote the lubricant location on shaft is so y1, speed is u1. Lubricant contact with bearing is located at y2, speed is u2. To calculate the strain rate, and we apply the differentiation form du over dy, and we know that when y1 very close to y2, and the u1 and du over dy will be u1 minus u2 divided by y1 minus y2, and which for our case, is a 0.3 millimeter gap, which meets this requirement. Then we can use the right side to calculate strain rate. Now we'll use non-slip boundary condition to get u1 and u2. So u1 is a, equals the speed of a shaft equals 3 meter per second. u2 equals velocity bearing is in stationary is zero. And then du or dy equals 
u1 minus u2 divided by y1 minus y2 plugs all the number into it will get string rate with negative 10 to power of 4 and with unit 1 over second. The negative value just indicate that the friction is opposite to the corner we set up. And then we can apply the sharing string rate relation and then shear stress tau then equals viscosity times string rate. And then we plug into the viscosity and then plug in the string rate, we will get shear stress is negative eight times 10 to the power three and with the unit Newton per unit meter, uh, per meter square. And then with the shear stress, we can calculate the friction, the friction between shaft and the lubricant. Friction equals shear stress times the area. And with no shear stress, then the next step is to calculate the contact area. The contact area is the, between lubricant and shaft in the side of the cylinder shaft and the contact area will be length of the shaft times circumference of the circle, which is pi times d, and the plugs all the number into it would get the contact area. And then further we can calculate friction equals shear stress times the area plugs into number. What we get is a force, the frictional force is negative 340 newton, negative against indicates the velocity uh, direction. And the pulling force is used to counteract the frictional force. And the negative of the force and lead to the positive 340 newton. That the pull force along the same direction as the coordinate x we we set up, and the magnitude is 314 newton. And the problem solved.